walk through Haunted Hollow, shortcut to Mutiny Bay. It's sort of a shortcut over to Wicker Man. So excited to ride this. We're hustling straight to Wicker Man because yesterday the lines for this ride were so long that we couldn't ride it. And they're probably gonna be long again today, but oh well. 65 minute wait, not too bad. I love the epic music that plays here. The steam and the fire. This is gonna be cool. The wicker man requires sacrifices to yield good crops this year. Just having a little jelly baby snack to keep us going through the line. This is the first time I've had this. It's delicious. Powder on the outside, jelly on the inside. Half eaten. <laughs> Half eaten. Well, I had to take a bite to show the inside, you see? Now I got a cola bottle because, oh yeah, it's like bent over. Let me fix it. There we go. Got a nice cola bottle. 105. Yoinks. So far, I think 35 minutes or so in line, probably another half hour. I'd say an hour, a little over an hour wait is not bad for a major attraction like this. the coaster going by while you're in line waiting. And this coaster is massive. The track is so huge. There are so many awesome twists and turns. You go through the Wicker Man multiple times and everybody's laughing and screaming and having a great time. Looks like we're getting closer to the Wicker Man. There's Wicker Man symbolism everywhere. Wicker Man. It 
it does smell like burning. So normally in this room there's a pre-show, which they're not doing right now, but it's still all lit up and cool, and it does smell like fire. This is really, really cool. Look at how it goes out from like in the dark, out into the light. Like any great attraction, you exit through the gift shop and they have a lot of really cool, unique merchandise. I'm definitely gonna need a Wicker Man shirt and they have nice options. There's a bunch of Versus shirts and we've ridden now both Wicker Man and Nemesis and they're both, they're both great. So it shows here the drop, the speed, and the length of the ride. Besides encountering Wicker Man on the ride, there is a large effigy of him here in the gift shop, watching over his sacrifices. Hopefully we fed him well. Does he look well fed to you? He looks pretty well fed to me. A lot of really cool and unique merchandise. A lot of cool creepy stuff too. $3,000 Wicker Man figure. I think it would look amazing next to our TV. I do too, actually. We should just put it in front of the TV and we'll just watch through this hole in his heart. That's how we watch movies now. I want this. Cool, me too. We're both getting the classic, just straight up Wicker Man shirt. We've just come off Wicker Man and gone through the gift shop and bought some souvenirs. It's a very, very fun ride. It's a beautifully themed queue. I love getting to see Wicker Man, and see the fire, and see the tracks and the train go by. So many times while we were in the queue and the music, it's just the theming is awesome. The ride itself, very, very fun. Very like rough at first, but in a really fun way. I was getting jostled all around, but it goes by so quickly that like while I was on the ride, I could barely see a thing. And I was trying to like, oh, see the Wicker Man and how many times we went through. I have no clue. I couldn't tell how many times we went through at all. It went by so fast. I wanted to do it again. And then at the end, you go through this dark tunnel, which is really, really cool and really creepy. And then the ride's over. So really, really fun. Definitely worth the wait. Glad we did it, but gosh, I wish it was just a little bit longer kind of like nemesis where really fun really great ride but like over so quickly i think that's why 13 remains my favorite because even though it's not as fast as some of the other coasters it's it's longer it feels longer at least so you're on it and you get to like go through the forest and just have this wonderful stroll through and like i don't know but so far awesome start to the day. I also fashioned for myself a string around my mask so that I can easily take it on and off when we're very far away and there's no one around, you can take it off. And when we're, you know, can't social distance in queues, on rides, in shops, things like that, mask off. We're going to hop on the sky ride now. We didn't get to ride it yesterday, so this will be a fun little fly flight through the sky, right? Yep, we'll, we'll go into Forbidden yeah. Valley. Okay, and we'll get some aerial views of the park too, right? Yep. Should be cool. Should be great. So we've got this frame up here, and it says this is a sample of the high-strength steel wire rope used on the Sky Ride, manufactured by Bryden International at their Willington Clay factory. It's a revolutionary Brystar composite core, and they're being used all over the world for aerial transportation. 
Very cool. Just like the Skyliner at Disney World, except there are no themed wraps on these. They're just totally clear, which hopefully should be nice for getting some good views of the park. Listen to the sound of the wind, too, at the station. They look very spacious. Thank you. Just road. So cool, we did it. it. We were going over the forest. Gloomy wood. Is that the gloomy wood? Mm -hmm. it's very gloomy. It's a very gloomy looking wood, isn't it? Mm. It's gloomy wood. <laughs> Our stop. This is where we came in this morning. This is the entrance for hotel guests. It's only available from like, I think 9 a.m. to 11 or 11.30 a.m. in the morning. You'll wanna check if you're staying at the hotel, but we came in through here, now it's closed off. There was a huge line for it, but it went by pretty quick. And it's cool to get in at a different spot in the park than the entrance. 30 minute line for Galactica, so. Let's give it a go. The ride was kind of stopped for a while because I guess they were doing cleaning and we saw three cars go by empty. So I guess they cleaned, ran them through. It seems like they clean about every two hours and now it's running again. Yay! in my eyes so I closed my eyes exactly the instant the photo yeah she really does you can't even see her oh it's really fun okay that ride was a lot of fun I was a little nervous when we first got on like the hanging forward parts a little scary but it was so much fun I really really liked it I don't know that I want to do it again today but I'll definitely do it again in the future. We were hoping to eat in the roller coaster restaurant, but by the time we tried to make reservations, they were all full. So for dinner, it looks like it's filled up, but for lunch, they're accepting walk-ins. There's quite a queue. We've been waiting for a while, but we've committed to waiting because it looks so cool and unique inside of there. And I mean, it's a roller coaster restaurant. We gotta do it. Thank you. We're in! Soon we'll be seated and every table has its own roller coaster. This is really, really, really exciting. Yay! Yeah? Thank you. All right, we got the Galactica and Wicker Man and Nemesis spots. And you got the Beast. And we're on the Thunder Looper table. Yeah. So the food travels all the way across those coaster tracks to your table. Also, they gave us a tablet to order on. And so we're looking through the menu, having a little having a little bit of a oh, look. So each, each meal has a roller coaster name. 
oh. Wicker Man, Nemesis, The Beast. So The Beast, that, that, we didn't ride that, right? That's not here anymore. It's not here anymore. It's been gone, it's been gone for a long time. Yeah, you made a really good video on it. I did. But we're all waiting for the Son of Beast video, though. It's coming. <laughs> the bottom is like a dolly with the plates and stuff. Silverware and plates so we can each grab our own, I guess. I guess that's how that works. So see, that's how the food travels. That's so cool. Very careful. Very careful. There you go. <laughs> Something's coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's your beer. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. Cool. So that's how they keep it from like, you know, getting spilling. Oh, thank you. Oh, here comes more. <laughs> what is that? Believe me, fries. Yeah. First thing. Oh my gosh, and then everything goes right in the bin. <laughs> Cool. I like how the cover is a little roller coaster restaurant logo. It's really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. It's not a smooth ride. No, it's it's a rough roller coaster yeah. ride. <laughs> but I'll really put cool. This, in the bin. this is how you put things right in the bin. You spin them around. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right in the bin. Let's open these halloumi fries. Ooh. Yes, we love halloumi fries and the sauce under. Here comes more stuff. Woo, here comes more. Oh my gosh, we're getting an overload of orders here. Mine is the nemesis. Sam got the fish ciabatta. Ooh, looks nice. One pot for you. Thank you. Should be fries maybe for me? You're getting to be a pro at this, Sam. Thank you. Look at that. There's my nemesis, our fries, the loomy sticks, and Sam's fish ciabatta. What a spread. So cool. Oh, more is coming. There it comes. I like how it comes with a ticket on it so you know what it is. Boop. When we took it out of the little pots, it comes in. It's a really nice portion size. Yeah, it looks really good. I took a little nibble and it's delicious. Mm. The whole place kind of like went dark. The music started playing and all the lights went different and like projections came on the screen. Oh, it's the Nemesis music, is that it? But it started with the main Alton Towers theme. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, what's next? Galactica. The one we just rode. Journey beyond. Alright, what's next? Wicker Man. Whoa. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. 40 years of Alton Towers. It's kind of like, what's next? We don't know, it's a surprise what's next. Bye. Our meal was delicious, so that's two of two great dining experiences here at Alton Towers. Loved it. I love the theming in here and the food. What I ordered was delicious. As far as roller coaster restaurant merch goes, there's this cute little bear, and there are two souvenir cups you could purchase. Up here on the wall, they've got like a model of Wicker Man. They've got the whole track laid out, and there's Wicker Man right there. That was a great way to start the day, and what a cool thing to have as decor. We had a lovely time in Roller Coaster Restaurant. Our food was delicious. The service was really good, and I mean, being served on a roller coaster track, people lost. Besides the fact that we had delicious food and it was really fun eating here, you also get your pass holder discount. So make sure if you're a pass holder, you make that home when you pay the bill. Good discount. If you're here in Alton Towers and you have a chance to eat here, do recommend. We're just walking through another spooky woods with awesome music. We rode Duel yesterday and we really liked it. It's got Haunted Mansion, Phantom Manor vibes, and a little bit campy, so we're gonna try to get another ride on Duel. A little creepy, dark ride in today. Duel, the haunted house strikes back. I love the facade of the house. I love the cue, I love the music. And I love the fact that it's an interactive ride where you can battle with the spooks. Like most rides here at Alton Towers, you enter through a creepy forest. But this one, has an extra creepy payoff. This is the haunted mansion of Alton Towers. And as campy as it is, I absolutely love it. Just like in Haunted Mansion, there are gravestones with funny etchings in them. Wrapped tight in lead. 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 Against the damp. <laughs> I almost expect to hear, welcome foolish mortals. What's it called? The DigiPass. The DigiPass. <laughs> we got free all of our digital photos for two days and we got one free print and we chose the dual print. And I like how we're all just looking in different directions because you know what? No spooks are gonna get by us. Oh, we're gonna get them all. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice. That's a cool picture. That is a cool picture. Oh yeah, it looks like nobody's riding the river rapids right now and I don't blame them because it's a little chilly. There's a 75 minute line. Also, 
75 minute line. Maybe they're cleaning them. Yeah. Hmm. Do you see that wooden ride right there? That's Wicker Man. That's Wicker Man. That's Wicker Man that we rode earlier. First ride of the day. It does look cool. It's a very beautiful, awesome ride. Really, really fun. It used to be the location of the log flume. Otherwise oh. known as the flume. With one hand on your head, um, shouting, I'm nuts and it's a nuts. Pirate parrot. <laughs> okay. Every theme park has its ducks, and these are the Alton Towers ducks. Hi, duckies. Hey, baby. Oh, oh bye bye. We're going into X Sector. <laughs> minutes for oblivion. Oblivion? So give this a try. They're not doing fast track right now, but when they are, I would gladly pay for it to get on quicker on some of these big major attractions. When you come off the ride, you see this like bay area with what looks like old ones that need to be refurbed or swapped out, and then behind it, brand new shiny ones. Oblivion was big fun. It's very quick, it's up, down, right over, but wow, lots of fun. I think the ride is attacked. like straight up. You start straight up and then it's just loop, 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 loop. in there. 
we'll be putting our bags and phones away. But until then, welcome to Joy. We're going into the optical procedure room. Sounds lovely. We're entering the inside part of the queue. Oh my gosh, there's strobe lights in here. So we're getting pretty close. Here we go. So many loops! Oh my god. That was intense, dizzying, fun. I screamed my lungs out. Uh, I really did enjoy it, but I don't think I like, I don't think that's one I'd need to ride every time. Maybe like every few times. I'm, I'm marmalized. I'm good. 6.05. 6.05 and the park, park closed at is closed. <laughs> it's officially closed and Smiler was the last ride of the day, and wow, that was, at, yeah, at the halfway point, I was like, no more! That was I was screaming and screaming and screaming. You liked it? Really, really fun, but yeah, that is, that is intense. I gotta say, one of the things that has come to mind as we've been here these past two days is I love Alton Towers, I absolutely love it. I'm happy I'm a pass holder so that on future trips we can come back again and again. I also think it's a true theme park. I've had a lot of people say, you know, compare it, it's not Disney, it's not Universal. Like, no, it is not. And those are both amazing world-class theme parks. But I think Alton Towers is so well-themed. Like, each land is well-themed, even though it's there's a little looseness. But the rides are so incredibly themed. Each ride has awesome music, great soundtrack, awesome rides. Like the designs, the logos, the color schemes, like they're themed to a T. Yeah. So this was your first ever trip here. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. What was your favorite ride? I'm I, still gonna go. I know I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. And I do not agree. <laughs> but I'm still gonna go with 13. 13 was my favorite. It's got the spooky theming. It's got the like the countdown. You go through the woods and the woods are beautiful. You know I love walking through the woods. And I like like very leisurely and fun and it feels really nice to ride but I actually really was surprised at how much I liked Oblivion yeah. because it's so short yeah. but I loved it. The whole really makes it. The whole really ties it together. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I love Nemesis, I love Smiler. Uh, Wicker Man was amazing but like it went by so quickly that like I remember the queue more than the actual ride but I do remember I had fun yeah. riding it. Yeah. So the only major rides you didn't really do were Rita uh -huh. and so you have now done all of the current secret weapons here. Woo! And 13 uh -huh. was your favorite. <laughs> He's saying that so that someone watching will laugh at me. I yeah. know this. Don't laugh at me. I liked 13. And you didn't like Hex. I hated Hex. You like that the theming. A nightmare. Yeah. I like the theming and I love the story. I love the whole thing with the enchanted oak and and the whole like the walkthrough, like yeah. as you come in, those two like chambers you go through are beautiful. But then you got on the ride and you were like, what is this? And I was like, please make it stop. But all in all, I, I just absolutely had a wonderful, fantabulous time yeah. these past two days here at Alton Towers. It has been very crowded. Yeah. The even with the dis even with the measures in place, yeah. it's still been 
crowded, but we yeah. had a great time, so. Yeah, um, there were, like, there are parts of the park that were, like, that felt too crowded, but what we did was just pass through and not, not hover in those bottlenecks because it's, you know, it's, the decision we made was like, that area's a bottleneck, let's move along to a more spread out area. There were also times in the queue where I had to like look back at the person behind me like, because they were kind of stepping forward, but they did a pretty good job at like announcing over the speaker, like, please stay on your chevron, and then people would say, oh, 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 and I don't think people were doing it on purpose. Yeah. I think people just aren't used to it, and it's it's something to get used to. Like Disney, and, Disney World and Universal and Florida have been open for a while, and people are pretty used to it. So I think just at other parks all over the world as they open and, and while this is going on, I think it'll just take time. And not just the parks, everywhere in the world, you know? Plus after an hour and a half of the smile of music, anyone's gonna forget. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah. But all in all, wonderful, wonderful time. And we have a lot was there anything like else major we wanted to say about well, it? Well, I think it's really interesting that the music in the park stood out. Yeah, so I did talk about that. While we were at lunch at the roller coaster restaurant, I said to Sam, like, the music is huge. Each ride has a theme and it's so prominent that I could hear that music and like think of that ride yeah. immediately and just the general Alton Towers music theme. Like just standing here, you can hear yeah. the Olivia music. Yeah. And like yeah, so Sam bought the CD and I was like, I really want to like listen to the CD. But as you said, it may not have all of the soundtracks on it. So I'll be looking those up online. But it's got a smiler. Okay, that's great, wonderful. <laughs> like I said in the line, like if you're bothered by it's a small world, <laughs> try standing in the smiler queue for 90 minutes. <laughs> no, please. Please, no more. Theming's awesome, the music's awesome. I had a wonderful time, we both had a wonderful time, and yeah. Roller coaster restaurant was great. Yeah. Yeah. I, we've been pleasantly surprised by our food offerings. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be just like rubbish theme park food, but like yeah. we had nice food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so one tip I would suggest is if you can try and go to the woodcutters. Lounge. Yeah. The woodcutters restaurant, the, the wood one right by Hex. Yeah. Or the roller coaster restaurant. Yeah. They really, it's a great way to break up the day. Yeah, because there were other restaurants that were slammed in more crowded parts of the park, but if you just go a little out of the way, you can find places to eat that are not slammed and then have really good food. Yeah. But overall, successful. So with that, we're heading out because we have more adventures to come tomorrow and we need to get some rest. Nice feet. Oh, the dogs are barking. My feet are hurt. Very and, hilly. Yeah, and this park is very hilly. That's another thing. There's a lot of like inclines that like goes up and down, so your yeah. feet are gonna ache. And you're only used to the hill of Main Street, where it's slightly yeah. slants towards the castle. Yeah, totally. And this is a little different. A little bit different, yeah. No, I'm tired. Yeah, no, I <laughs> So thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. Stay tuned, because there's a lot more fun to come. I'll see you next time, and until then, as always, stay smiling and stay in Bye! Bye, Alton Towers. We'll see you again real soon.